can you contain, trap, and confuse the undead? The answer here, shortly. Welcome. Mind of McCorkle presents Ask McCorkle, where we dive into current events, hand out sage life advice, and answer those burning vampire questions, all from the undead perspective. Today's headline, artist recruits 300 for nude photo near Dead Sea in Israel. Well, it would be awful close to Zack Snyder's version of armor in 300. That barely covered them. Ah, uh, but quite frankly, that's a low hanging fruit of a joke. I know. Um, there should be some sunscreen. When I was a people and younger, I visited the Dead Sea. It is quite hot and quite, well, dead. Ah. Uh, from what the tour guide told us, it is one of the lowest points on Earth, and therefore one of the hottest points on Earth. Uh, so if you're going to do a nude photo shoot, make sure that you are covered in sunscreen. You wouldn't want all your sensitive bits to get sunburned. Because what's the point of showing off that body if you can't use that body? I'm sure there's going to be some moral objections that people have somewhere. I don't. If a group of 300 strangers want to get naked and have pictures taken... Okay. That sounds fine to me. In fact, if it wasn't in, at the Dead Sea where there's no cover and a blinding sun, I might even want to check it out. I might want to check out the results. I suggest that if you don't have a moral quandary with it, you see what this is all about. And today's life advice comes from peoplesproblems.org, and I only take the headline. Old situation slash friendship that was potentially abusive, and they questioned it. Um, if you have an inkling that it was abusive, or even a suspicion that it was, then chances are very high that it was. You don't get those kind of vibes from what we term a healthy relationship. There's no good thing about an abusive relationship for the person that was abused. Therefore, you have to rationalize the behavior and the relationship itself. So if you find yourself doing any of that, it was probably abusive. If the old situation slash relationship is over, 
do you really need confirmation that it was abusive or can you just move on? Do you really need to give yourself reasons after the fact for letting it be an old situation? Don't get caught in that trap or you'll forever be looking back and validating what you went through and rationalizing your decisions. You don't need to do that. You did what you did. Now move on. And today's vampire question. Will burying a vampire face down really contain it? Ah, uh, well, that'd be a very novel approach um, to take someone that you know for sure is going to become a vampire and bury them face down so that when they wake up, they think all that they have to do is move forward. That could work. The problem is that vampires don't need to breathe. They are animated by the demon. They drink blood to increase their power and to keep the corpse as fresh as possible. They don't need blood to move or to be animated. They will get weaker and weaker without blood. Now I'm saying all this to say that it could, it's an intriguing idea to bury the entire, the coffin and everything face down so that the vampire would try to dig themselves out, but it would be digging themselves in. Because they could keep moving, but eventually the earth would fall in on them and they'd be buried. So I suppose you could but that would be a lot of effort and you'd have to know for sure that the person will become a vampire. Otherwise you're going through all that hassle for nothing. And of course, there's no guarantee that anything other than staking them or beheading them and making them a pile of dust will contain a vampire because then you could put the dust in a container if you wanted to this has been ask McCorkle if you have any questions or would like any life advice leave a comment below like share and subscribe this video all my videos all my stuff Check out the links in the description. I have my mindofmccorkle.com is linked in there, as well as the tools author page, which will take you to Amazon, where the book about me, The Hunter Vampire, as well as the books that I have written, the anti-guru books are listed. Buy them, read them, love them, and I'll talk to you again. Later.